you guys. Long time no see, right? Well, this is going to be a mega <laughs> DVD haul. I have been shopping like a mad person for DVDs. Why? I don't know. Because clearly, you can tell all this behind me. And if you check in the description bar below, there's a link to a website that has all my DVDs listed on it and what version I have, whether it's, you know, the full version, extended version, director's cut, full screen, widescreen, yada yada yada. You can check all that out there. The link is in the description box below. It's on a site called um, DVD AF and you can also join that site and be on my friend list on there and I can see all the DVDs that you guys have as well. If you're interested in that, of course. But, I'm just going to jump right into this because there's a lot. A lot. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. I have, if I can do this without breaking my camera, because <laughs> it's on a makeshift tripod. The first thing I have, these here, that I'm going to show you first. Let me grab this stack. Sorry that it's shaking. I got all these. Okay. These here all came from a yard sale, and I paid a dollar a piece for these. I got Groundhog Day, really good movie, and I think I may own this one. If I do own it, because I'm not sure, then it'll be given away in a future video when I do a review of the DVD. I'll actually give this copy away. It's Gridiron Gang with The Rock. A dollar yard sale and two I always check the DVD to make sure it's not scratched because all my DVDs are in immaculate condition I have to, yeah I got too much money invested in them clearly you can see that um, I got Medea's family reunion which I think I do own this one as well so if any of these that I tend to buy double of like from a yard sale or wherever I'll always give those away in a future giveaway so make sure you stay tuned because I won't tell if there's a giveaway until the end of the video or in the middle so you won't know you'll just have to watch it I also got this one it's Wimbledon with um, Kristen yeah Kirsten Kristen Dunst whatever um, I got this one I think I have this one already like Ginger why do you buy them if you already have them one because I'm not sure if I have them because sometimes I'm like oh well, I'll buy that later I'll wait so it goes on sale and then I forget to buy it or I have it because someone gave it to me or I got it from somewhere and I don't remember I have right at a thousand DVDs I cannot remember all the ones that I own so yeah and half of them I haven't even seen yet which makes it worse hence why I created this channel <laughs> okay I also got this from a yard sale season two of friends one dollar. I don't have this. I used to have just about every season except nine and ten of these, but I got rid of them at one point before I really started collecting DVDs. So I got all those a dollar a piece. Now let me tell you the other ones that I got. These I got from the Goodwill. I got Mind of Mencia season one from the Comedy Central Network. I got this from the Goodwill for I think a dollar ninety nine two dollars however much it was it wasn't no more I think than like 225 so I got that and then I got um two Wong Fu thanks for everything Julie Newmar I bought this brand new by the way from the Goodwill for like two bucks and I bought it because Patrick Swayze's in it right now I'm trying to collect all his movies because he was one of my favorite actors growing up like in my early preteen years you know like 10 to 13 and yeah I want all his movies because he's passed away so um I also got this and I think I own this one I got this from the Goodwill it's called Who's Your Caddy hilarious movie which I will be doing a review on all these movies so and then of course there'll be a giveaway in each video so make sure you stay tuned in for that I also got this it's a Stephen King movie called Riding the Bullet I love my horror movies. So, next I got. I had bought this for Mama from Big Lots, and she already had one. It's a Jane Austen movie called Emma. All of Jane Austen's movies are really good movies, and I think I paid three dollars for this, so it wasn't that much. Next, I got from Target. 
I got seasons one, two, three, and four of Third Rock from the Sun. This here's season two. This here's season one. And this here is seasons three and four. And I paid five dollars a piece. So this is ten bucks and this is ten bucks. So for twenty bucks. I got four seasons. I used to be addicted to this show. Like when it first came out. And then I found another TV show to watch. So I got those. Okay. Next. Sorry for the bag. But I couldn't take all these out of the bag. It would have been a mess. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're all brand new. And um, I've never seen this. Never heard of it. But I bought it because Tay Diggs is in it. It's a complete first season of Daybreak. I had never seen it before. The girl on the back, she kind of looks like the girl off, um, what is that show? It's one of the new TV shows that's on now. But it was only $1, so I got it. I also got this, Punch Drunk Love. If I'm not mistaken, I have this already. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. But um, Punch Drunk Love, this here is the two disc special edition. And I had to have it because the other one I have, I think, is just the regular edition. But I only paid a dollar for this. I also got um, Season 1. It says Volume 1. So it's probably only half the season. I don't normally buy it when it's like that. But I got it for Mama because she loves this TV show. Which I'm probably end up giving this away because I like buying the full seasons. But, um, and I've never seen this show, so I don't know. It's called 30-something. And I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I guess it's a 10-episode set. I don't know, but I'll probably end up giving that away. And then all of these I bought to do a giveaway with. They're all the same movie. And I like this movie. It's pretty good. I already own it, but when I seen them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar piece, I'm like, yeah, I have to buy all those for my subscribers so I can give it to you guys. Which, I'll do it in another video. It's not going to be this video. But, the video, the movie, is Room 1408 with John Cusack. And I think Samuel L. Jackson is in this as well. And it's a pretty good, like, um, mystery horror movie. It's based on the, um, I think, book that Stephen King wrote. So, it's pretty good. Um, and I have, like I said, I have five of those, so I'll be giving those away in a future video. More than likely, what I'll probably do is do the 1408 video review, the DVD review, and give away those in that video. So make sure you stay tuned, because every review that I do, actually every video I put up on this channel, I'm going to try to do a giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned in on how to enter all those types of things. And even in this video, I'm going to give away something. So don't um, click off just yet. Let me take this ring off. It's annoying me. Okay. The next set of movies that I got are all of these. Now, I got all of these from Ingalls, which is like the local grocery store that's not that far from where I live. And I go in there so much. Like, the guy knows me by name now because he just points me, hey, they're in this case. And I'm like, cool. So, um, normally these movies, they mark them down to like, they're new release movies. And they go down from like 12 to 9 to 7 to 5. And then by the time they reach $5, all the good ones are gone. And I just buy them at $5. But here lately, I've been going in there. And Buddy has kind of been hooking me up. He's been letting me know when they go on sale. And what happens is, they've had a lot of them that haven't been selling. So, like these here, I'll show you this one. This is called Record Number 2. I haven't seen Record Number 1. But it's a horror movie. And I love horror movies. Clearly, you can see that the price is $5. If you can't, you can see it on the back of this. Um, it's marked for five, but when I go in, he knows that I'm going to buy a lot. So, they, when I actually bought these, the day that I bought them, he had marked them all down to, I think, $3 or $2. I can't remember. And all these are, like, semi-new releases. They've, like, been out 
within like the past, I don't know, three months or something. But keep in mind that I've had these stored up and I hadn't had a chance to show you guys, you know, to do this haul to show you. So, so I got record number two. I hadn't seen number one yet and I don't have number one, but I got number two. I also got this 30 minutes or less. I've seen this. It's pretty funny, but it's really not my type of, you know, my genre of movies. But I'll do a review about that. I got Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. I hadn't seen it. Beverly Hills Chihuahua, number two. I hadn't seen number one. I hadn't seen number two either. Don't scoff, but I bought it because, you know, support my fellow YouTuber. You know what I mean? It's Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. Hadn't seen it. I also got Paranormal Activity number three. I already own one and two, so I got number three. And again, all these here I think were either two dollars or three dollars. I can't remember. Um, I got this is quarantine number two. I can't remember if I own quarantine number one, but I hadn't seen this yet and I've been wanting to see it. I see number one, and it was good. I got one of my favorite animated uh, movies, Despicable Me, and it's in its cardboard cutout, which is really awesome because I like when they have their, you know, the little extra incentives to buy kind of things with it. Another one of my favorite animated movies is Tangled. I love this. It's so cute. The horse just cracks me up every time. And I got that. I also got... A Nightmare on Elm Street, I have not seen it yet, but if I'm not mistaken, there used to be a TV show that I used to watch. I think there's a guy in this movie that um, I just started following on Twitter, but anyways, yeah. Um, I also got this. This here is a documentary, I believe. It's called Destination Forks, The Real World of Twilight. Now, it's not the other one that's called um, Destination Forks that is kind of like where a person does a, a, you know, the first documentary that come out. This here is the second one, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, that's what this is. If it is the same as the other one, then, yeah, I'll probably get rid of this. But I don't think it is, so. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Twilight, which, if you don't, I have a poster behind you of Breaking Dawn. Then over here I got, which you can't see it, is two um, Vampire Diary posters because I'm obsessed with Vampire Diaries. And last but not least, I got um, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs from Ingalls as well. And I paid again $2 to $3 a piece for these. And um, let me show you the last bag of DVDs. Has anybody kept count how many DVDs I've showed you so far? I have no clue. Now all these DVDs in this bag... I bought all these DVDs from my cousin for a dollar a piece. Yeah, a dollar a piece. And, um, because she's like, the pawn shop is only going to buy them from me for like 50 cents a piece. And I'm like, Psh, no, I'll buy them from you for a dollar a piece. What are you talking about? But anyhow, let me show you what they are. They're all crooked. So let me turn them right side right. Okay. I got from her for a dollar piece all about Steve which has got Sandra Bullock in it I've never seen it um, but it's got that really hot guy in it Bradley Cooper yum so I want to see that and then this here I think has George Cl no it doesn't have George Clooney it's got Antonio Banderas and it's called you will meet a tall dark stranger never heard of this one but she said it was really good and then also there's the American with George Clooney. Never seen that. I don't even think I've heard of it. She said this one was really good. So, and then I got this one with Mark Ruffalo. Yummy. And it has um, Julianne Moore and Annette Bening too. Um, it's called The Kids Are All Right. I've never heard of this one either. Um, from what she told me, this sounds similar to a book that I read. Like uber years ago but it was so good but anyway i got tyler perry's Medea's class reunion this is the one i think this is one of his movies that's um like a stage play that they recorded not sure i don't have any of those types of the collection of tyler perry all the ones that i have of tyler perry are his like movie movies like this one 
Uh, this is Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married 2. And I've seen this one. This one's pretty good. I'm glad I got it. Um, I think I own this one already. If I'm not mistaken, I think I got it from Ingalls for like five bucks. But it's called I Am Number Four. Great movie. Too bad they're not going to be finishing the series on that. But I'll talk about that in the review. If I'm not mistaken, I do own this one already, but I bought it. And of course, like I said, if I already have it, I'm going to do it as a giveaway. But it's called United 93. And I think this is like a movie about what happens with the whole 9-11 plane and whatnot. So I don't know if I can watch that because it still gets me about 9-11. The next one is Date Night. I think I own this one as well, but I'm not 100% sure. That's got Steve Carell in it. Yeah, and Tina Fey, so that's funny. I also got, um, this one's called Christmas Wonderland. It's got Carmen Electra in it, but the main reason I got it is because Patrick Swayze is in it. I'm trying to find all his movies so I can get them on DVD. I also got Sex in the City Movie Part 1, Sex in the City Part 2, never seen either one of them. I didn't even used to watch the TV series, but I got them just to say I could have them. I got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the one with Johnny Depp, which I'd love to have Willy Wonka, the original. I got this one here, it's called Morning Glory, it's got Rachel McAdams, one of my favorite actresses. And Harrison Ford, haven't seen it. It's probably pretty good. And lastly, out of all the DVDs, this is the last one. It's called Just Right with Queen Latifah. I've seen this movie. It is so good. It's so good. But anyways, that's all the movies I got. And again, I paid a dollar a piece for this whole stack from her. So I got about 20, about 20 DVDs. Which, oh, I got some other ones too. If I don't knock my camera off. She didn't have the case for these, but I bought them anyway. She let me have them for 50 cents a piece, which is fine because when I buy from Blockbuster, when they started going out of business, I would buy the loose DVDs like this, and I have a binder that I put them in. But um, there's Just Go With It, and I think that is the one with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, if I'm not mistaken, which is really good. And then Mean Girls 2. I don't think that was a good movie from what I've heard, but I haven't seen it to make my own determination off of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the haul. As far as the giveaway goes, um, when I do hauls, I'm going to be giving away promotional material for movies that's coming out, are about to come out, or have done came out. And when I do an actual review, I will be giving away one to five DVDs of that particular DVD or another DVD that I've already reviewed. So, in today's giveaway, I am giving away a sticker for a CD that came out. It came out in March. I know, that was uber months ago. But this is what it looks like. It's Madonna. And the album that this came for or on, um, what was it called? I can't remember. Well, anyway, it came out in March. And I've had these. I got these the day before that CD debuted. But I'm just now getting around to being able to give it away to you guys. And I have six of these. So, if you're interested in winning one, all you have to do is leave me a comment and be like, Hey, I'd like to win that. Tell me why you'd like to win it. Do you like Madonna? Or tell me why you don't like Madonna. But make sure you mention in your comments that you would like to win. That way I know that you're entering for a chance to win a sticker and didn't just click the video to see what all I had. Okay, I'd also like to know, have you guys seen any of these movies? What is your favorite genre of, you know, movies that you like to watch? Mine personally is horror. I love watching horror movies. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching my video, and stay tuned in for more. Don't forget to check out the description box, and check out my whole list of movies that I have on DVD AF. And I will see you guys later. Oh, I'll announce the winner of these stickers in the next video. See you guys. Bye.